Hello, friends. Today we are going to read *The Stray Dog* by Mark si Mark Simmons from *A True Story* by Reiko Sasa. A stray means an animal that lives in a street. Oh. It was a great day for a picnic. Do you like going out to picnics? I do. What's this? Asked the father. It's a scruffy little dog. Can you find the dog? Right here. He looks hungry, said the girl. I think he wants to play, said the boy. The children played with him and taught him to sit up. They named him Willie. They kept playing until it was time to go. Well, they look like they're having fun. Let's take Willie home, said the children. No, said the father. He must belong to somebody, explained the mother, and they would miss him. Well, they say goodbye. On the way home, the girl said, "Maybe Willie doesn't belong to anybody." Do you think Willie belongs to somebody? Maybe not. During the week, all the family had Willie on their mind, so they're making mistakes. Monday. The dad spills the coffee Tuesday and Wednesday. The girl slips. Thursday, the boy misses the ball. Friday, mom accidentally burns some of her pot because she was thinking about Willie. Saturday, and they come back to the park. Who do you think they're looking for? Right, Willie. Willie! They all cried when he appeared, but Willie didn't stop. Willie was in a big hurry. Why is Willie in a big hurry? He's running away from the dog catcher. He has no color. He has no leash," said the dog warden. "This dog is a stray. He doesn't belong to anybody." The boy took off his belt. "Here's his collar," he said. The girl took off her hair ribbon. "Here's his leash," she said. "His name is Wooly, and he belongs to us." How do you think Wooly is feeling right here? Scared, sad, and how do you think Willie is feeling right here? Oh, he's wagging his tail. So they are very happy. Look how the boy is. <laughs> Look how the boy is dancing with while he's holding his pants because he lost his belt. They took Willie home, and after that, they gave him a good bath. They introduced him to the neighborhood, where he met some very interesting dogs. Look at all these different dogs. And Wooly settled in where he belonged. The end. Oh, that's such a sweet story. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story, and I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.